Let's talk superior fatherhood. There are statistics going around about African-American fatherhood, I would say in the past two to three years, that has people questioning how can African-American fathers be the best and the worst fathers simultaneously? Some people are saying, no, they're the most involved fathers. You are a liar. And that bad dad stuff is just a stereotype. Other people are saying, no, you're deadbeats. You're not involved. You are the worst fathers in America. Here are what the statistics are trying to convey to you that people are missing. They want to know how these two things exist at the same time. So I'm going to remove from my conversation with you that which I believe is confusing others. So I am not going to present to you numbers. I am not going to talk to you about percentages. I am only going to give you the message that these statistics are trying to convey. And that is this. The majority of African-American fathers who are foundational black Americans, who are descendants of chattel slavery. I do not mean Nigerians. I do not mean Africans who have recently immigrated here. I mean those who were enslaved and built the Americas. Is that clear? Of these men, the vast majority of these men are absentee fathers. The majority of these children do not even have a father that has signed their birth certificate. The majority of these men are absentee fathers. However, that population of African-American fathers who are present are superior fathers. They are the superhuman superheroes of all fathers of any race, religion, regardless, in America. The white dad and the Asian dad, they are at home providing, protecting, and accessible to the child because they live under the same roof as mom. However, African-American dad, who is involved, kicks that up a notch kicks that way up, not just a notch, but an entire league because that African-American dad goes from protector to provider to nurturer. You see, white dad is in the home. White dad might say, hey, mom, get that kid ready for school. Go drop it off. Time to pick up your kid. Asian dad might say, uh, you know, hey, don't do this is a disciplinarian, African-American dad does all of that, but then he also is somewhere with blue magic and a rat tail comb parting his daughter's hair, doing cornrows, barrettes, baubles, protective style, satin scarves. He's bathing his kids. He's not just leaving that up to mom. He's at every soccer game, every track meet, He knows the coach on the swim team. He's part of the PTA. He's paying for his kid's college. He is involved as a nurturer. He's making TikTok videos on going viral on YouTube, dancing with his child, getting a shot with his child, hands on with his child. And that population, these are the blue ribbon fathers of America. African-American, foundational black Americans of any religion. The only thing constant there is their race. They can be Muslim, they can be Christian, they can be atheist, Ifa, whatever they're doing. But that African-American is the only thing constant in that superior level of fatherhood. So again, I say... The statistics are trying to convey to you when they say that these are the best and worst fathers at the same time. They are saying that while the majority are absentee, those that are present 
are doing what no other group of fathers in America are doing. No other group of fathers in America are keeping up with involved African-American dads. Involved African-American dad is as involved as African-American mom. Asian dad is supportive, but not as involved as Asian mom. White dad is definitely supportive, definitely involved, definitely they have their unicorns, but in general, not as involved as mom. African-American dad is somewhere in the kitchen making cake from scratch with his son or daughter. He's somewhere teaching his son how to grow. He's somewhere making sure his son pledges into the right fraternity. He's somewhere making connections, somewhere teaching that kid how to hammer a nail into, you know, a wall. He's hands on every day. You get it? And this is why they are showing up as the very best fathers and the worst fathers simultaneously. You gotta take those black and white statistics and color them in. (laughs) Get your Crayola, color those things in. Now we know as African-Americans, all you have to do to know that this is true is, is sit in a circle of a dozen and see how many of you were raised by your father. I don't mean for two or three or four years, as in my case, during the time my parents were married. I mean, as involved your entire life in the way that your mother was. And you will see that those people are in the minority. But when you meet their fathers, they're these incredible men. Got it? Great. That's all.